hi guys uh, welcome to my channel canada pr dream and today we're gonna talk about the modern immigration so modern immigrations many people knows about this modern immigrations and some people are not aware about this modern immigrations so we're gonna talk about this is this modern immigration so first question what is modern immigrations so when you talk about the modern immigration this is a small community driven programs so uh, where they will invite the skilled worker and they give an opportunities in, to immigrate to the modern through the Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program with the formal support of the city of modern. So the city of modern is a small city in uh, province of Manitoba and uh, which has a population of about 8,000. So uh, you can, if you like it, the small community, you can explore this uh, modern immigration. So where is the modern is located? The first question coming to your mind is like, um, you never heard about this location. So Model is a city uh, in the located in the province of Manitoba, about 120 kilometers south of Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg is the capital of Manitoba, and uh, uh, Modern has a population of over 8,000 people. And the neighboring city, which is the Winkla, it has a population of about 14,000 people. They both are called as the twin city because they are about 10 minutes or 15 minutes away from each other. Uh, as you know, in uh, all PNP program, they have some uh, demand jobs uh, which are uh, always uh, to be considered before you apply uh, in the if you are applying for the modern immigration they have the four uh, uh, demand occupations which is welder carpenter cooks uh, plumber or the pipe fitters these are the main skilled uh, uh, occupations they require uh, for this modern immigrations uh, they invite almost about 50 50 families or the 50 applicants uh, every year so you need to make sure uh, you fit into those 50 people you'll be wondering now what are the eligibility criteria uh, if you go for the welders and carpenters they are like uh, you need to have at least couple two plus year of experience uh, in the commercial or restaurant carpentry or the welding uh, you need to have the general ILTS with the score band of uh, ILTS each five and you, if CLB five for the TAF or the any French exams, uh, you need to be between the 21 to 45 age. Uh, you make sure you if, if you have a connection, you are not eligible. So have no other connections to other parts of Canada in the form of the French relatives or the parents, employment or the educations. Uh, and if you have completed the post-secondary educations, uh, you need to have at least one year of duration and you need to get at least certificate or the diploma or the degree at the end of the study. So these are the minimum criteria for the welders and the carpenters. Uh, as you know, uh, all the PMP requires the PUF, which uh, modern is not exceptions. Uh, you also need the PUF as per the MPNP website. And for these categories, you don't need to have the X percentage profile, so which is better for the people with the welder and the carpentry educations. Uh, if you move on to the cook and the plumbers or the pipe fitters, in these categories, uh, they need to have the X percentage profile. Uh, they don't need to have the job offer uh, for the X percentage profile, they need a CLB7 which you need to remember before you're applying for the cook or the plumber. Uh, again, here you need uh, two years of experience in the last five years and you need to be between the age of 21 to 45. These are the minimum criteria. Again, you need to have no other connections in the part of the Canada in the form of the friend or the relatives or the educations or the job. Uh, one more thing, you need to have the POF. As I said earlier, POF is a uh, necessary uh, PF, uh, if you need, if you want to know the PF amount, it is on the Manitoba Provincial Nominee website. Again, here also you need to have the post-secondary education certificate for at least one year of durations, and at, at the end of the durations, you need to have the at least certificate or the diploma or the degree at the end of the duration. Uh, PF, I already talked about those, and so in this category, there are the four categories. Uh, and if you summarize, you need to have occupations in demand of for any of four of those one. And you, do, you don't need to have any connections uh, if you are French speaking people uh, and if you get the CLB level 5 plus on your French exam which is TEF or the TCF then you can apply for these categories without having a extra uh, entry profile so this is very good opportunity for the people who knows English and the French and who don't have any connections to Canada uh, then they can apply without the express entry profile or the job offer so this is the good thing about this uh, modern immigrations. Now uh, you'll be wondering what are the application process, uh, how they do the uh, what is the entire process for this 
modern immigration. So, uh, modern immigrations in uh, get about uh, 50 application approval every year, uh, and which is the 5% of the application they receive. So you can imagine how many people are applying for this uh, category. So, uh, and you make sure you follow all the directions on the website and apply for this one. If you go for the process, the step one for is like make sure you you review your eligibility whether you are able to apply or not. Once you are qualified to follow applications, you need to apply based on your qualifications. Check it out whether you need the access entry profile or not. Once you apply for that one, they will take about a month and they will, um, if they selected, they will ask you for the come for the exploratory visit. Once you come for the exploratory visit, you need to go for the interview with the MPMP officers. Once the MPMP officer determines that you are good fit for the modern immigrations, they will ask you to apply for the uh, MPMP. Once you apply for the MPMP, they will review your documentations and they will give you the nominations once you get the nominations from the MPNP you get the 600 points and then uh, you have submit your file to the CIC once you submit your file to the Canadian immigrations uh, and they will check your criminal records and medicals and everything and then they will you will come to the modern and settle here uh, what are those questions you have in your mind like uh, what are the days you can apply is there any timeline uh, for this categories there is no timeline you can apply anytime uh, they will take about a month to respond back to you they are pretty good on that one uh, and you don't have to pay so there is no cost involved uh, but make sure you are qualified and eligible to apply those on don't apply if you're not eligible to apply uh, once you come here you need to pay for your expert visits and the accommodation as usual uh, uh, then you will be wondering what is the exploratory visit is all about so exploratory, exploratory visit is all about uh, you see the modern modern areas and see whether you can fit this uh, you can live in this area or not uh, you will have the invitation uh, you will have the interview at the end of your exploratory visit and then MPMP officer will determine whether this is best suit for you uh, to settle in the uh, modern or not once you get the invitations you get the you need to apply for the MPNP and then hence you get once they approve you get the 600 points uh, so you'll be wondering why you need to come here so uh, because modern is a small community which is about 8,000 people some people uh, from the metro uh, metro cities may not like it or some people who likes the uh, you know the rural area they will they will settle down in the modern so once you come here check it out whether you like it or not give an interview to the more uh, MPNP officer and they will determine whether you are fit for the modern immigration or not so this is the main aim for the exploratory visit so this is very important part uh, for your uh, modern immigration so you need to make sure uh, you know this process very well before you apply because you don't want to waste your time and the officers times if you don't want to go uh, if you have any questions or concern you can always talk to the modern immigration they want you to email uh, email them rather than calling them they will want to respond to the uh, phone so just uh, call send an email to the info at modernimmigration.com and apply through this modern immigrations uh, and see whether you can uh, come here for Canada on a modern immigration so thanks for watching this video I hope you like this my video and please like it share it and subscribe with your friends and families thank you so much for watching this video bye